hello and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to my youtube channel this is a beautiful wonderful lady lady t to all my day ones to all the returning subscribers thank you for your loyalty thank you for your likes thank you for your support because basically without an audience i do not have a channel and thank you for making this community a possibility like thank you guys for everything i really appreciate your support and to all the newbies welcome to the family and hopefully you're going to enjoy it being here because we love having you here and to all the guys that have not subscribed like what are you waiting for what are you waiting for i'm giving you three seconds now to subscribe to subscribe and to subscribe okay guys so oh my god recently turned 24 hey! i am literally 24 and there are lessons that i've accumulated throughout my whole life as much as i've not lived long like literally i've not lived long but i feel like there are vital lessons that i've accumulated in the 24 years that i've been on planet earth and today i'm going to be sharing with you it's going to be 24 lessons that i've learned in 24 years so these are the lessons that i'm going to be sharing with you and hopefully you're going to enjoy this video Okay, guys, I jotted down some notes, so do not be shocked. I'll be looking at my, I'll be looking at my book from now and again. So I feel like I learned those lessons earlier on in life. Probably life was going to be much better, but then, irregardless, I can still use those lessons in the future. And to everyone that is watching this video, hopefully you're going to benefit from those lessons. So lesson number one prayer is very important prayer is very important because we are faced with challenges left right and center you know and most of the time when we're faced with difficulties or we're faced with challenges we tend to so look we tend to look for physical solutions but then that all that shouldn't always be the case because not all problems require physical solutions some other problems they just require us to kneel down and pray not that i'm saying Guti, you should substitute work for prayer no but then not all problems need to be physically solved sometimes it is just the devil that is attacking you and you need to pray over that situation so what i'm saying is be it you starting a new business be it you be it be it you are thinking of getting married or be it you starting at school whatever that you do you first have to pray about it you first have to report it to god and ask for guidance so lesson number one prayer is very important and then lesson number two choose your tribe correctly choose your tribe wisely guys this is the biggest lesson choose your tribe wisely i'm not i'm tribe i'm not talking about nationality but tribe i'm talking about the people that you hang around let us always remember there's this quote that says that show me your friends and i'll tell you your character this is a very important quote because the people that you hang around with they are the ones that actually determine your destiny you know because if you hang around people that have got no direction trust me it is impossible for you to have direction unless you hang around people that have got no direction because your conversations are always going to be filled with are always going to be filled with 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 with, with nothing that concerns success so choose your tribe correctly and always remember that quality is is more important than quality than quantity it is basically useless to have 20 friends while it's from all the 20 friends you're not benefiting anything because remember going to this life is a journey right so we need to have friends that actually build us and not friends that destroy us because friends are the people that we spend our time mostly with so if you choose your tribe um, wrongly then definitely you are doomed for disaster so it's very important to choose your tribe correctly that is lesson number two lesson number three it is build strong relationships with your parents family because they will not always be there i feel like this is the saddest truth because growing up you know we always have this mentality I was dinner. hey my parents want me to wash dishes i'm so tired of my parents i just can't wait to grow up and then move out of their house but then truth be told our parents will not forever be with us so it is important that police we still have them let us let us nurture those relationships let us actually build strong relationships with our parents because our parents are not our enemies they literally love us you know and then also with family members our relatives will not always be here guys life is too short literally life is too short so let us 
be let us always remember to build those strong quality friendships uh, quality relationships with them and create those memories because our relatives and parents will not always be there so build strong relationships with your parents or family because they will not always be around you they will not always be around you either because you, either because you might um, relocate and go to a different city or a different town or death like death is the new like death is a reality so either way we just have to build strong relationships with our family members and then lesson number four lesson number four is choose a career that you love and are passionate about yo i just do not know how to stress this the importance of choosing a career that you love it's not always about money like understand me well it's not it's not always about money it's not always about the title but it is about choosing something that will give you the enthusiasm to wake up in the morning and go to work imagine choosing a career that you that you highly detest only in the name of ukuti I'll, I'll get um i'll get a lot of salary i'll get a lot of money and i'll have this title it's not always about the title guys imagine waking up at 5 a.m and going to a job by going to spend eight hours doing something that you had that you hate it sucks so choose a career that you love and something that you're really passionate about because you're going to be going to that job on a daily basis so if you do not enjoy that job it's going to be a very very difficult time so choose a career that you love and you really are passionate about that is lesson number four lesson number five is know when it's time to leave Hebana, know when it's time to leave. Be it leaving a party, be it leaving a relationship, be it leaving a job. Know when it's time to leave. Do not overstay your welcome. Do not overstay your welcome, boo. Know when it's time to leave. Lesson number six, have principles, morals, and values and stick to them. This is very important. Have principles, morals, and values. People are going to respect you for those principles. As much as, much as it might seem as if it's laid back having principles and values, but trust me, people are really going to respect you for having those principles and sticking to them. Do not just be an empty can because they say empty cans, they make the, loud, the, loud, the loudest noise, right? Do not just be an empty can and be like, hey, these are my principles, these, these are my values. Why listen to why, why to do not live up to them so have principles morals and then you stick to them lesson number six or lesson number seven is guys i know that you are dating so you cannot be saying hey i stole and everything guys and i know anyways lesson number seven date with the purpose okay i have to stress this Date with the purpose. Guys, let lava of Ugutu are busy uh, consoling each other. Let me let me say this in Venek. This issue of Ugutu is busy, see, I just want to chill and Ugutu has him. So I'm chilling, chilling just for fun. Guys, we can't be dating for fun, oh. We can't be dating for fun. We are no longer 16. We are no longer 15. You know, at the age of 16, it's okay to date for fun. At the age of 15, it's okay to date for fun. But once you are 21 and you are telling me that you are dating for fun, hi, guys. I know. Honestly, ha, ha. Like, date with the purpose. Because life is too short, man. Unless otherwise, if you do not want to get married, then it's okay. You can fool around. You can, you can, you know, you can. You cannot date with the purpose. But then if, you're, if your end goal is marriage, then date with the purpose. Know what you want in a relationship. Know why you are in a relationship. If you just do not, if, if you're just dating for fun, I, I feel like that's where we get our heartbreaks, you know. Because it will be one sided, seriousness. The other partner is serious. The other partner is not serious. So, date with the purpose. That is lesson number seven. Date with the purpose. Life is too short, guys. Date with the purpose. Figure out your love language and have boundaries. You know, figure out your love language. Know what your love language is. Be it physical, a touch, be it words of affirmation. Know what your love language is. You cannot leave the other child a guessing. Uguti, hey, probably Tabaka's love language is this. No, I cannot do that. I have to know my love, my love language firstly, and then I can be able to tell my partner, which you know what, this is how I want to be loved. Then that way the relationship will be what will be fun. And then have boundaries. Have boundaries, guys. Do not be a mafuma Do not agree to everything and anything you know i know what sometimes um I know what sometimes in relationships it might as much as you might have boundaries you might overstep those boundaries at times not saying good um, I, I, I am I am advocating for overstepping boundaries but at least have those boundaries have those boundaries and then try to stick to them so date with a purpose figure out your love language and then have boundaries that is lesson number seven and then lesson number eight strive for excellence and let go of mediocrity in everything that you do be it working as a domestic worker 
strive for excellence. Be it you are polishing shoes, strive for excellence, guys. It's not we do not strive for excellence only in big things, but then we have to train ourselves to get in the habit of striving for excellence in the small things. So that when we're given bigger tasks, value the mentality of striving for excellence is already in our DNA. So in everything that you do, strive for excellence. Do not, do not, do not, do not let go of this mediocrity and mentality. You know, like let go of this medi- mediocrity mentality. Do not be satisfied with getting a forty percent in school. No, no, no. Eh, eh. Strive for excellence in everything that you do. Do not be satisfied in doing the bare minimum. No. Strive for excellence in everything that you do. Ecclesiastes, I'm not sure, it's, I forgot the verse. But it's Ecclesiastes something. It says, whatever that your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. Because in the grave where you are going, there is no waking, there is no tolling, there is nothing. So whatever that your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. Strive for excellence. And that way, trust me, you'll be acknowledged. The world always acknowledges people that strive for excellence. Trust me, in every sphere, in every department in every industry just strive for excellence make sure that you are the best at what you do and then lesson number nine be able to say no without feeling guilty i feel like Nami, i struggle with this at times you know deep down in my heart i'm wanting to say no but then i feel like with you if i say no probably this person will think i'm mean or probably it won't come across quite well guys be able to say no without feeling guilty obviously you cannot say no to everything right but now you have to weigh the situation which is this really worth saying yes to do not just say yes to everything and anything. No. Be be able to say no without feeling guilty. You know? And then lesson number 10. Not everyone, this is very important. Not everyone deserves a seat at your table. It's good to be friendly, but then that does not mean you have to be friends. Guys, not everyone deserves a seat at your table. Be very much selfish on who you bring into your inner circle. Not everyone deserves to know what's going on in your life. Not everyone deserves to be your friend. No, guys, no. Because at times we attract bad energy in the name of good. Hey, I'm friendly, so I accommodate everyone. I, I just dish out my, 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 my life to everyone. And I told them my, my goals, my visions. No, not everyone deserves a, a seat at your table. Yes, you can be friendly. But then that does not mean good to everyone that you meet. They now have to be your friend. You know, you know sharing your deepest darkest secrets you know sharing with them your vision guys not everyone deserves to be at your seat you first have to be you first have to weigh the quantities which okay fine the, you have to weigh the options which, okay fine this person what is this what what value is this person bringing to my life and if you see what this person is not bringing anything anything that is valuable in your life then it's okay to, it's okay to keep that person as an acquaintance it doesn't mean that person has to be a friend yes you'll be friendly with them yes you'll vibe with them but then to a certain limit not everyone deserves a table at your seat boo. not everybody and then next lesson is life has no shortcuts guys that is lesson number 11 life has no short life has no shortcuts i've learned this the most difficult way and it's very much said yes of course i, I won't make it a story time but then i've learned this the very the, i've learned this in a very deep and in a difficult way life has no shortcuts literally life has no shortcuts we just have to work for everything that we want life literally has no shortcuts life has no shortcuts and then number 12 um choose your battles wisely that is number 12 choose your battles wisely not everything not everything is meant to be a mountain you know you do not have to fight about everything and anything choose your battles wisely there is this quote that says a wise woman knows when it's time to talk and when it's time to keep quiet so not everything choose your battles wisely not everything is worth is worth fighting over and then lesson number 13 Safe self love, guys. I feel like self love is very underrated. And then this is lesson number 13. Self love should not be underrated, be it skincare, be it hair care, be it nail care, or be it just generally your health. Like self care is very important to love yourself, guys. Of course, I've got short nails, right? I've got short nails, but I so love my nails because I keep them clean and short. I so love my hair. Yes, of course, I've got braids right now. But then once I take off these braids, I'll make sure good I wash my locks. I retwist my locks because that is part of my hair care routine. My my face, guys, my face is glowing those days. Yes, thank you. I've figured out how to how to incorporate a skincare routine into my life because I'm trying to love myself. Because obviously, if you love yourself, you know, then definitely you will feel good about yourself. And if you feel good about yourself, then other people will also be what other people also feel good about you, boo. You cannot expect us to love you while you do not love yourself. It just does not work, it does not work that way. Imagine walking into a room and then everyone is just wondering, good, whoo, what is this terrible smell? 
self-care is very important that is lesson number 13 and then lesson number 14 let go of fear and chase your dreams be a risk taker let go of fear and just chase your dreams Go for your dreams. The sky is the limit. They always used to. They always used to tell us at school that the sky is the limit. But I feel like we just don't understand how 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 high the sky is. You know. The sky is very high, guys. I, like I've I've had the privilege of, of being in an aeroplane, right? And I, at this one time, when I, like when we're up in the sky, like when we, when we're up in the air and everything, I was asking myself, oh, okay, fine, we are this high, but then still the plane has not touched the sky. Can how high is the sky? Literally, guys, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. That simply means there is no boundary. You can dream as much as you want. You can dream and you become you can become anything that you want to be. The sky is the limit. There is nothing holding to you back from achieving your dreams and achieving your goals the sky is the limit and then number 15 lesson number 15 it's it's okay to make mistakes guys i think i have to ponder on this one a little longer it's okay to make mistakes simply because we are simply because we are not robots we are human beings and being human beings there are times in life whereby we are going to make decisions thinking that those decisions are wise but then later to find out that, that those decisions are very foolish do not beat yourself up for that you are a human being you are bound to make mistakes you're going to make mistakes you're going to fail in life but then that is not the end of life you can still pick yourself up you tint it yourself and you move on literally it's okay to make mistakes be it uh, uh, like there are many examples man but it's okay to make mistakes because from those mistakes we literally learn lessons lessons that are very valuable lessons that we can use in the future so it's okay to make mistakes do not beat yourself up for just one mistake no guys that's not the end of the world it's okay to make mistakes because we are human beings right and then next lesson is lesson number 16 have a vision board your guys I would, I would, I would, I would do a story time on this. So, there is this friend of mine, right? When I walked into her room, the first thing that I saw, it was, a, it was her vision board on the wall. I was so, 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 like, I, I, I was so speechless. You know, I was so tongue-tied. Do good, hypo, more girl. An entire vision board, it was written, hey, I want to travel, I want to get married, I want to have kids, I want to start my business, I want to, have, I want to buy a car, I want to have a mansion. Guys, this one shared an, an entire vision board. I'm not joking, guys, I'm being for real. She an entire vision board of where she sees herself in the future and i feel like it's important to have a vision board because having a big vision board will then guide you to, okay fine this is this these are the goals that you're working that you're working that, that you're working for and then this is the time span so you then make pop, proper plans in attaining those goals because you cannot just live life in jail without knowing where you are going because literally that's not how it's supposed to be you have to have a vision board that way everything is going to um save smoothly is going to go smoothly. What am I saying? Hey, English never left us. Anyway, <laughs> lesson number 17. The perfect time to start something is now. Do not procrastinate. The perfect time to start something is now. Be it starting a business, be it starting a YouTube channel, be it, I do not know. The perfect time to start is now. Do not wait for tomorrow. Yesterday is gone. You just have today. Start now. Okay. Lesson number 18. Don't take too hard. Yo, guys. I, 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 I'm still struggling with this one, but God willingly, I have to improve. Lesson number 18, don't take to heart what people say. Not everything is personal. Literally, guys, do not take to heart what people say, because Abantu will always talk. People will always be people, and you cannot change what people think of you. You cannot change their perception. So because of that, do not take everything to heart. Not everything has to be personal. Let them talk. It's okay. But then you can only control what you think about yourself. Yes, you cannot control what they say, but then you can control what you think of yourself and how you are going to react from what they have said. So do not take everything to heart not everything that everyone says is personal just let some things pass by you know that way you're going to live a very happy, a happy and a peaceful life and then lesson number 19 don't compare yourself to anyone we are all living different we are all on different journeys guys we are all going to attain things at different times so don't compare yourself to anyone just because your peers have attained something that when you're still failing to attain it's okay it's their time to shine let them shine now when you now when it's your time you're also going to attain it so do not compare yourself to anyone we are all living life on different paces god is giving us blessings at different rates so just because my friend has received her blessing today does it mean good now i have to start comparing myself thinking good mean i'm a failure i'm a loser no no don't compare yourself to anyone we are all on our oh sorry no guys we are all on different um life journeys so don't compare yourself to anyone and then number 20 dare to be different in a world whereby everyone is 
con con this word in a world where by everyone is oh guys it's long in a world where by everyone is con is it confined oh, goodness i just forgot this word but then in a world where by everyone is trying to be a wannabe right dare to be different dare to be different dare to be yourself dare to be a brand do not be a wannabe there is only like there is only one one like there is only one tamaka in this entire universe so i have to dare to be different i have to be myself i cannot be a copy of someone else so dare to be different that is lesson number 20 lesson number 21 it's okay to take time out you do not need to be a, a superhero if you feel like you're getting tired you just feel like you just get, getting so overwhelmed by life and everything it's okay to take time out it's okay to relax it's okay to recoup to rejuvenate because by the time you come back to the world you'll be having new energy and you'll be having new ambience listen to the english hey you be having new ambience <laughs> This is number 21. This is number 22 now. This is number 22. Learn a new skill, try something out, never stop growing. Do not be stagnant water. Stagnant water stinks. Do not be stagnant in life. Grow, grow. Learn a new skill, just try something out. Learn a new skill, be it be it learning how to drive, be it le- okay, driving is not a skill. But just learn something else, be it learning how to knit, be it learning how to uh, how to play it hair, be it learning a new language, just learn something else. Learn a new skill, do not be stagnant in life. Lesson number 23, strive to be financially literate because that is the basis of life because life revolves around money guys. Life revolves around money and if you do not know how to use your money wisely then you are just born for disaster. So learn how to be financially literate. Invest in financial literacy because that is the most 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 important education. And the last but not the least, laughter is good medicine. Good medicine there is this song um it's an a joyful heart is good medicine. Good medicine. Yeah, my singing is bad. But the last lesson is laughter is good medicine. Guys, it's cutting about that are always frowning. Like we are so tired of people that are always frowning. Yes, life is difficult. Yes, we are faced with challenges left, right and center. Yes, adulting is not fun. Yes, we all have problems, but laughter is good medicine, guys. Laughter is very good medicine. If you want to stay forever 16, this is just free advice. Laugh at all times. Thank you for watching my video and hopefully this 24 lessons that I've shared with, with you guys basically I'm um, going to benefit from them hopefully going to benefit from them and do not forget to leave a thumbs up for my video if you liked it and don't forget to like to subscribe to comment i'm out of here this is your beautiful enough for later thank you for watching my video bye